I break through our disease rather than consolidation. And the way we are applying it on this project, on supply chain through, is kind of <coughs> different from that approach. Um, first, we we use 10 in the other class we use 10 vendors. Now here we are using 30, 30 vendors. So we divide it in groups of three. So three manufacturers have to produce the same products and so on. So the two objectives are optimize inventory policy, not taking the inventory as a constraint and working with global demand and capacity of the vendor. And the second objective is added the inventory as a constraint and run the optimization. Um, our approach for the first objective is to set the 3D, dist 3D distribution centers as the customer's type and then the manufacturers at the ex as like an existing facility. And then establishing the demand of each DC of the SKUs needed from the respective manufacturers and optimize their transportation costs. For the second objective, we are going to add a, scen a scenario having constraints on the outbound capacity of the, of the manufacturers. So we're limit limiting their, the flow that they're given to the disease. Um, like you all know, you add the model, then you save the project, then you add the products and the sites. Can, can you do the same here, just draw a little bit the, uh, the, the sort of the structure okay. that we have it in mind as we go along? Yeah, you can. Okay. Here are my manufacturers. We're working with three DCs: New Jersey, and Ela, Georgia, and thirty manufacturers grouped in three groups. So that makes ten groups. Three. Um, so okay. Yeah. Okay. So here, then after we add the products and the sites, we do the groups. The first group we did were the disease that were just just one product. How many products? Oh, sorry. Uh, like two hundred and eighty-five skews. Um, that are from the home and kitchen housewares. And why do we group them in groups of? Of ten, uh, three. Um. Okay. There was where some where it was going. Oh. Okay. Good. 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 Disease. Three disease. So we group them in one group of disease. Then, um, as I said before, for the for solving this project, um, we talked with the professor Ramurin and we established we made an assumption of like making three disease to make the same product, so we can optimize at the end. So we had ten. Originally, we had 10 manufacturers. So what we did was um, one manufacturer plus two other manufacturers will produce the same product, and so on and so on. So that will make the 30 manufacturers. Okay. So when we're doing the groups, we'll group the manufacturer A, that will compose the manufacturer 1, manufacturer 2, manufacturer 3. And those manufacturers will do this SKUs over here. Okay. And so on, manufacturer B, manufacturer C, and they will compose of these manufacturers and manufacture these products. After that, we add the, the policies with the visual modeler. So we did the first. We did the transportation and sourcing pol and the sourcing policy, transportation and source from. So already and the manufacturing policy. And this is our map with all the links, three DCs, and all the manufacturers. Okay, added transportation and sourcing costs. Uh, for the added the transportation costs, we you open the, the transportation policy table, then you go to the average cost, and what we did was we used the uh, a rate of FedEx ground shipping. So the supply chain guru will calculate all the the transportation distances and costs based on the size that we decoded before. And for the sourcing cost, we we input pipes, um, adding the data source, and then setting up the, the input of the, the average cost of each manufacturer, of each SKU. 
Okay, the scenarios. Um, we did a different thing. We didn't do like that, like Team Alpha did. We actually we exported the inventory policy table, and then we we input the in the out, there's a, a column called outbound capacity. We input that value in in some manufacturer, for example, in manufacturer two. We put an outbound capacity of 125,000 pounds per year. And this was a constraint of inventory A. And then the inventory constraint B, we made an outbound of five units per week for manufacturer four. So the first, we, the, we, we limit the outbound based on the pounds, and the other one was based on quantity. Well, the first one based on weight, sorry. So these are the results. Um, we can observe that with the baseline, uh, we got the best transport, the lowest co transportation cost because it will search for the closest manufacturer. That is, it will search for the closer manufacturer. Um, for the, the scenarios in the constraint A um, and constraint B, they increase transportation and sourcing cost because with the knowledge, the constraint of the outbound capacity, the DC must seek for another DC. Um, regardless of the distance. Now he has to search for one that has the availability of that skew. And that's why it increased. Like for example, in constraint A, it increased by approximately sixty thousand dollars in transportation and hold, inventory holding costs. And then in the in the constraint B, the costs were increased by approximately seventy five hundred dollars. And I think that's it. Yes, thank you. Question. Sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, I have a couple of questions. What, why did we add the capacity? <coughs> the, the, the capacity constraints, why did we add that? Oh, that was our second objective. Like, the first objective was without any constraint or limits, and then added the, we added the, some constraints on the inventory, on the outbound circuit, other capacity, yeah. to see how the links will change. But, but why? Why did we, where did that number come from? Is that just oh, that was an assumption based on the... <laughs> Yeah, we're trying to, to limit the capacity of the disease, but since this is our customers in supply chain, group, I cannot limit the customers. So we we thought about limiting the the manufacturers, the outbound capacity manufacturers, and we just found a number that cuts the flow. Okay, your your real objective was trying to limit the number of uh, customers.